Generic greetings, fellow citizens of the internet. This is, of course, Richard, and today I bring you another episode of FOV. Uh, so I've done just a little bit off camera, not much, just mostly maintaining this. As you can see, I've now got a bunch of chicken, and I fed back a bunch of eggs back through and around and so forth, so now there's a very steady stream supply of uh, chickens being produced. Um, so that's very nice. And also, something I did, or something, uh, ended up breaking the villager breeder, so uh, I have since gotten it back up and running. I also sort of installed a better viewing area. Sort of thing. Uh, what I ended up doing was... Hey, get up there. Get up there! Come on. Don't, don't, be, don't be silly with me. Um, basically, I just ripped out everything and installed a more traditional solid door formation. Uh, brought out the ceiling a little bit and eliminated, if I can get through, uh, eliminated a bunch of the ceiling on this side. So I'll, I'll go through and make this look good eventually at some point. Uh, but for now, it is working and that is the important thing. Uh, the villagers are satisfied with the arrangements of the ritual pillars and doors once again. I, I don't even know. But yes, this this is it's 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 functioning and it's all good. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I think my inventory is full of random nonsense. Uh, I don't really uh, is there? Of course it's only 63. I'm not going to be able to Yeah, whatever. Um, let me just do that for now. And then trade with this guy as many times as I can. Probably it'll be enough to unlock another trade. Uh, inventory is full. Are you gonna are you gonna be happy with me? You might hopefully, hopefully he's best. Oh, I also planted a bunch of dark oak up there, by the way. <laughs> I'll check that out later. I'll just sort of drop some of this stuff off. Whatever does not matter. I think I might have worked more on the wall as well. Um, coming back to this after a day or two, since I did the work there, so I, yeah, I, I believe I did more work on the wall since last time, uh, which is why I had all that random garbage in my, oh, these guys, okay, I, yeah, I guess they're in the, in range of the video, the, um, village up there as well, alright, uh, so where are you guys, where are you at, ah, you did unlock another trade, okay, wool, yeah, well, I should be able to do. I've got sheep over in my backstage base. Yeah, it should be doable. Uh, I'm actually going to trade some more raw chicken, just at the moment. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Alright, uh... Yeah, whatever for now. And then, I guess, I may as well do some training with these guys. Get myself a nice axe. Yeah, I know. Do you wanna do you wanna unlock something? Come on, unlock something. You know you want to. You know you want to. Give me something good. Give me something good. That's actually quite good. I appreciate that. Um, ordinarily, I wouldn't make a diamond sword, but if it's thrust in my face as a renewable resource, and as a matter of fact, a resource I'm gonna have to trade for in order to keep in order to yeah keep unlocking this guy. I certainly won't sneeze at it, and in fact, once I enchant that thing, like, I can get a bunch of those real easy, and that'll be... Oh, that'll be awesome. I That makes me happy. Sweet. Uh, cool. Very cool. Very good indeed. Uh, then... What was this guy? This Oh, this guy was a shovel. Sure, why not? I'll grab a shovel. Unlock something. Give me something good. Give me something... Try to outdo that guy. Try to, try to outdo him. If you if you can if you can get something better than him, uh, pants. Well, <laughs> he's a more practical sort of guy. Um, all right. Well, fair enough. And I haven't really thought about what I'm gonna do this episode or anything. I just wanted to uh, power through some of that. So at this stage of things, I guess I'll go. Um, Maybe I'll think about streamlining my sheep setup, but at least stockpile some wool uh, so that I can continue trading with that guy. Um, and sort of let that do its thing for a little while. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll probably be... Maybe I'll set up an iron, go uh, an iron golem farm someplace. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, 
if I do, I'll probably do it in that direction and I'll make it a small one, like a minimal, like, single village one. A uh, single or double village. Not try and stack them. Uh, then, later I'll be able to... I, I, eventually, long term, I want to build, like, a true upscale foundry sort of deal uh, in the spawn chunks over there. But... That's probably going to be longer term, and I would want something smaller to tide me over until I wanted to properly tackle that. Although it wouldn't exactly be small. It would almost be worth going for the foundry. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided yet. I'll figure that out as I go along. Uh, but for now... Oh, and I still need to work on this area as well. Uh, just prettying up the village bit by bit. Uh... So I'll think about some stuff, I'll figure some stuff out, I'll figure out what I want to work on, and so forth and so on, and when I've got something else to record, I will do so. Going to make the shears to, um, <laughs> shear the sheep, I just acquired hardware. Uh, <laughs> so, there are the shears, it's very nice indeed, uh, and I just realized that it's a baby zombie in there. So I need to be careful. I would. I don't know if I mentioned this. I think I. I think I recorded something about this. But the strangest things have been ending up in this sheep and cow pen. Um, first a magma cube, then a tiny slime. Um, now this guy. Uh, but this is going to be somewhat inconvenient for the purposes of shearing sheep. So I'm wondering what I'm going to do about it. I haven't quite decided yet. Maybe I should try and do something clever. Um, yeah, I'll I'll try and do something clever. We'll see how this ends up working out. Um, make myself a little passageway for him. I'll I'll break this block and plan on creating a pathway that he won't be able to escape from and that I'll just sort of be able to stand on top of here. Uh, I believe that cows and sheep are both too wide to fit through this gap anyway, but they shouldn't have any incentive to, to, incent incentive to jump out, I don't think. Uh, even if they do though, it won't be a huge deal. I guess I'll just make a thing over here. I'll try and get him into there and then block this off. That should be doable. So let me... Come here, come here. Okay, okay, this guy. This little guy. Okay, okay, so far so good. Very nice, very nice indeed. I like it. Okay, that was, was far easier than I feared it would be. <laughs> alright, alright, very nice, very nice. So now I'll be able to get about my business shearing my sheep. And such th hey, you know what, I don't even care. I don't know where the block went. Fix it later. This entire <laughs> cow and sheep pen is just gonna be a mishmash of the most random blocks and stuff. Uh that's why it's a backstage base. Have no I I, I I'll I, I promise. I promise I'll do all this stuff up proper sooner or later. Anyway, anyway, so that's that. <laughs> ah. I don't like it. I hate it. But I'll do it. <clears throat> Give me something good. Come on, come on, up, don't, don't, don't make me do that again. Please don't make me do that again. Please do not make me do that again. Yes, thank you, okay. I'll buy some shears, sure, why not? Alright, come on. Another one, another one, I'm on a roll. We're on a roll, we're on a roll, come on. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, back to trading some wheat and things. I'll need to gather some more for that. Take two. 
Yeah, bread. Okay, bread is okay. Bread isn't bad. Bread is all right by me. How about some bread? Sure, why not? Yum. Yum. Look at, look at, look at me eating this bread. It's so delicious. I'm not hungry. Not really hungry. Don't tell him that. Okay. Yes! Apples! Apples are also good. Give me those apples. They're, they're, they're delicious. Just look at, look at, look at me eating these apples. I already have a stack of apples. Okay, whatever. Why do I have a stack of apples? Why do I? Oh, I was, okay. That's probably from chopping down all those dark oaks on, um, top of the nether. Yeah, okay. Uh, more apples? More apples. It's fine. More apples are good. Apples are always good. Apples mean golden apples, which mean more villagers in remote locations. Uh, so why not? I'm fine with that. Absolutely fine with that. Anything else? Arrows! That is something I definitely do not need. I have a skeleton grinder for that. But okay, I, whatever you want, good sir. I will get to collecting more resources, and I will trade with you some more in just a moment. First time the charm? Probably not, not this late. But maybe, maybe? Maybe, there's always a chance. There's always a chance. Always a chance. It's entirely random. Entirely random. Yes! Okay! Flint and steel. Another thing which I can potentially use. Probably be getting way more than I will ever use eventually, but I still will potentially use it at this stage of things. So, more wheat harvesting. I think I might actually stop by the binary base for some bones to speed up the process because I've actually harvested everything at this point. Maybe? 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 Yes! <laughs> Watermelons! <laughs> okay, yes, uh... Here's... have some... have some wheat. I, I will... I will certainly buy some of your watermelons. I do not have those yet. I'm fairly certain. Are you gonna unlock something more just right now? Otherwise, I will buy more watermelons. I'll be happy to buy more watermelons. Of course, once you have one watermelon, you have a gazillion. Oh, more... oh, cookies! Cookies! Okay, I'll buy cookies. Alright, alright. What next? What next? What next? What's he gonna do next? Spoiler alert, he's probably not actually gonna unlock anything, but he might! He might! It's always possible! Nope. Okay, never mind. Uh, more trading then? More trading. More cookies? Where'd my other cookies go? Did I drop them off over here? I think I dropped them off there. Yes, I fit. I dropped them off Okay. Another trade? Maybe? Maybe? Don't, don't, don't go away. Don't go away. Don't go away. I like you here. Uh, another trade? Another trade? No. Okay. More cookies. More cookies it is? That's fine by me. I like cookies. Cookies are fine. Cookies are just fine by me. More cookies! More cookies! Many more cookies! Many more cookies! Do I need to buy more cookies? I probably need to buy more cookies. Are you gonna make me buy more cookies? You're nodding. You're nodding? Does that mean you're gonna make me more cookies? Make me buy more cookies from you? You, you... No fish! You want fish! Why do you want fish? Fish are terrible. I'm gonna need to get a lot of fish for you, aren't I? Like, a lot, a lot of fish. Oh well. Fishing isn't quite as annoying as it used to be. I guess I will get fishing. Ready? Five fishing rods! Excellent start. Uh, and I guess I'll throw a level 15 on it because that's what I have. Am I gonna be able to get- it? yeah, look at that, 15. 15? Unbreaking 2. Um, okay. Well, it'll last longer. Uh, we shall see what I end up getting. I just need basic boring fish. That is all I need. Uh, but this is gonna be a long and boring process, so I will cut away and let you know what I get, when I get it, sort of thing. Alrighty, after a decent amount of time, I managed to get myself a decent amount of loot, stopped at 32 raw fish, but I also got two name tags, two enchanted books, one knockback, two sharpness, three, one power four, uh, knockback two, a decent number of salmon, and a bunch of other random miscellaneous stuff, including a good number of pufferfish. Uh, which, which is cool. Oh, and I also, <laughs> the rod surely paid for itself because I got a better one back. 
Uh, so that's very nice. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start these cooking. And now that they are pretty much done, I'll grab those delicious fish. Ha ha! And I'll go ahead and trade this guy very quickly. Nine fish for an emerald. Good deal to me. All right. All right. Maybe something. Perhaps something rather. Something good. Something particularly good. New something. Nothing. Okay. Again. Round and around she goes. There's a winner every time, except that there definitely really isn't. Oh, come on, come on, come on. No, okay. I think after a bit more, and probably after this episode, I'm going to do most of this off camera because it is going to get a bit tedious. Uh, this kind of thing is pretty boring. As you can see, I'm going to need to go do more fishing. Uh, but, um, yeah, I'm going to check to see how much footage I have, and then I'll continue from there. <laughs> that is hilarious! <laughs> Just picked up some leather and got cow tipper without actually tipping any cows. That appeals to my sense of not killing cows-ness. Ah, uh, well, that's going to pretty much do it for this episode, for the most part. Uh, but I figured I'd take a couple minutes at the end here to um, mention that I have, in fact, gotten <laughs> boots and a saddle, which is very nice. Uh, as I've continued to fish here, I've traded once or twice more with the villager. I'm probably going to try and get him a bit more unlocked before next episode. But you've got a general idea of how trading works and so forth. Uh, and the sort of things that I will be doing. It's all pretty straightforward. Oh, missed that. <laughs> uh, that was... I don't know what just happened there. I wasn't paying attention. But, um, so basically, uh, I am probably going to be continuing with the villager stuff. Tripwire hook, huzzah! Um, because the rewards, as you've already seen, actually, from the blacksmiths, uh, are potentially very great indeed. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to having full, you know, renewable diamond gear and stuff. Uh, and just as a little, uh, sort of very brief explanation, uh, I don't think I've really talked about it. Um, I figured I'd explain what a perfect villager is, uh, because, uh, and I'll also direct you towards, uh, DocM77's video on perfect villagers and village breeding, uh, which will be in a link in a description below this video. Uh, but perfect villagers, uh, basically the way trading works is in order to unlock all trades once they've ended up locked, um, you trade too much, locks the trades. But to unlock trades, you trade the last trade. And once you've unlocked all trades, uh, or, or rather, um, yeah, you unlock trades by trading the last trade, and the other thing that happens when you unlock, uh, when you when you trade the last trade, as you've seen, uh, when you trade the last trade, eventually uh, you end up unlocking another trade beyond that, that becomes the new last trade sort of thing, um, and then you trade that, unlock something more, then trade that, unlock something more, and so forth and so on. Uh, and you keep getting more and more trades on the villager, and you keep unlocking the previous trades, and it's all just one happy, wonderful, delightful cycle. Uh, and that's what I've been doing all video. Um, but the quest for a perfect villager comes in uh, when you start unlocking villagers completely, like getting all the trades that they can possibly have. Uh, at that stage, they actually stop um, getting new trades at the end, and so whatever trade they get last is the, you know, last trade that they have, and they they won't ever get anything else uh, in back of that. So in order to unlock all the previous trades, if they've ended up locked, you will always need to trade that trade. So you want that trade to be something that you'll always want to do. Uh, so for me, that would be probably... Mm, the obvious example is for a librarian, uh, would be the paper trade, um, because you can get lots of paper really easily, and you can always trade it, and you're just trading it to get emeralds, which you can then use, you can turn around and just sell those back to the villagers for other goods. 
Uh, so it's pretty much just a win-win. Um, but potentially, uh, a number of potential renewable resources could be... Um, there are a bunch of things that you can trade to villagers. Uh, I've already gotten most of those on the um, farmer there, so I don't have much hope for him being a perfect villager, but uh, I'll have to look up to see what the potential uh, trades are left to unlock and see if he could potentially be good. But regardless, I, I want to fully unlock him anyway, just out of curiosity, uh, and for the purpose of uh, trading with him further uh, and establishing sort of a foothold in the emerald market uh, and I will I will also work on those blacksmiths and I will get more villagers in and trade with them as I go and so forth but I'll probably try and show a bit of that on camera once I get to that stage um, so yeah I'll probably want to get a couple perfect villagers um, with trades that I'll always want to do such as like, even iron or gold once I get iron and gold farms up uh, they'll actually be very good trades to have on last, because I'll always have a good supply of gold and um, iron to trade for, uh, so that'll actually be quite nice. But that's pretty far in the future. Uh, for now, I'm probably just going to work on continuing unlocking villagers and that kind of thing, and I will bring you guys back next episode with some other project. Who knows what? Haven't really decided yet but I will tell you that it is most probably going to be awesome. So I will check back with you guys next time, and this has been Richard, so forth and so on. I'm terrible at outros as I have learned, so Richard out. <laughs>